that's how a rocket works. This showcase is an opportunity for our students from statistics and computational and applied math all the way to bioengineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering to show off their design projects. Yeah, it's capable of supporting the patient's entire weight. And it's an opportunity for students who are freshmen all the way through their senior years, some of them working on projects from courses, others of them working in clubs or independent studies to show what it's like to be an engineer. This guy will rotate this. We find the students love it when they can apply their education to something that's real. And what you see down here are 88 teams that have been doing this for the past six months or a year, and now's their opportunity to show their amazing work. So this is the first ever impulse-based 3D real-time radar system and it's targeted towards automotive collision avoidance and advanced med medical imaging. We had, at the beginning, this idea of space furniture, and we had a lot of crazy ideas about what it could look like. And our goal is to create a vest like this to help deaf people understand speech. So in my lab, we've been working for many years on a project for sensory substitution, for feeding information into people's brains via vibratory motors on a vest. And so we took on the senior design team at the beginning of the school year to help us with it. And I wasn't sure how that would go. I wasn't sure if we'd get something useful out of that or not. But it's been amazing. These guys are really top notch. It's essentially as though my lab was able to hire six engineers, six professional engineers. And so a lot of progress has been made in terms of miniaturizing the electronics and designing the vest to be that much closer to being consumer ready. And what's really special about this and what the senior design teams are doing is that they're creating things. They are like artists who are taking all the things they're learning in school and making something really new. And that's the kind of education that students need. It's really neat because this is a great analog to you know what's going to happen all the time and like the rest of our lives as we go into industry and go into the real world. This iterative design process, taking an idea, you know, a pain point, a need in the real world. Um, recognizing how we can meet those needs and really seeing it through to a final usable product. Rice engineering is actually a great opportunity. Being a global health technology miner, I got to experience the engineering aspects without actually going through the engineering pathway, which I thought was great. And at the end result of my project, we're actually going to be implementing a protocol in a hospital that could reduce hypothermic rates in neonates. So we could actually be saving babies' lives this time next year, which is really rewarding. I think the engineering showcase plays an important role kind of in all design teams that come out of the ODK. It's a good source of motivation. It's also a good uh, place where teams can show off their work and be acknowledged for all the hard work that they've done during the year. And the last and final prize for tonight, it's a $5,000 prize for excellence in engineering. First place engineering design award for 2015. This award goes to I wish it could go to all of you because all of you deserve it, but the award goes to Dreyfus. I'm just really surprised. I honestly, like, I, I figured we might win something because it was, I mean, it is a very impressive project. We've done a lot of work, but I really wasn't expecting, it was still sort of a stretch dream. Honestly, it's unreal. <laughs> hug, hug. <laughs>